the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hello, you guys. I'm the Brandon Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Place for your comic book anime reviews. Here's my review for the Demon Slayer movie that came out from a few weeks ago in theaters. I was also looking for playing in the network online at some point. Uh, and I got to see it. So, what are my thoughts on Demon Slayer? And my thoughts are, it was a really, really awesome movie. Like, it was everything I thought it was going to be from a Demon Slayer movie. Uh, and then some. It is um, a great addendum to the last arc of Demon Slayer. It finishes up a arc, pretty much. It is, it is a, I actually learned that it was actually in the manga, this whole movie. Uh, fill up a manga page. Uh, manga arc, I mean. And for what it was, it did a really good job with it, I felt like. Uh, the animation by Ufobo is amazing. That's probably what made this really work well. Like, is the animation by Ufotable. Uh, everything about the animation was really great. Um, it, it just, it looked gorgeous to see everything happening, um, moving on, and just how beautiful everything was animated, how everything was paneled out, and how all the sword slices were working, and all the demons looked were great. Uh, there was this one section where the CGI wasn't the greatest, I felt like. It was obvious that it was CGI. Um, but it still looked pretty good despite that. Uh, it wasn't, like, terrible. Um, and it did work for me. Uh, I'm I'm generally the type of person who's not a big fan of the big final CGI fights at the very end. And this definitely has that. Um, but that's not, A, it's not the emotional crux of the movie. And also, it is not, um, it doesn't, like, take away from the character moments you get from it as well. It doesn't last in, like, you get, like, yeah, you lose track of what the story was. It still keeps itself on track for being a movie uh, about a demon um, that our main characters have to face off against. Uh, and it's, it is very much still continues the story of Tanjiro. Um, weirdly enough, despite it having Rengoku being a big focus in this um, movie. Because uh, this movie does focus a lot on Rengoku's character and it really develops him and fleshes him out a whole lot. And we get his backstory and a lot of stuff going on with him. And I thought that really was really good. And I thought, like, oh, Rengoku's a really great character in this film. He is really well fleshed out, well developed, and you really get his emotional struggles in this movie, and it is fun to see. It is really enjoyable to see, see Rengoku's emotions and his uh, feelings about every situation that he's in and fighting against these demons, and just how that whole thing was kind of like fleshed out. I thought the movie did a really good job with that, but it still is Tanjiro's story, and it still focuses on Tanjiro at the end of the day. Uh, we get these dream sequences in the movie that were really emotional. We get a lot of scenes of uh, Tanjiro dealing with things uh, in his past and with other characters. And we got a lot, a lot of great character moments in this, in this uh, movie as well uh, between Tanjiro, uh, Zenitsu, and Nosuke. Like, we get like these really fun interactions with this movie. Like, it's very funny. And I, I definitely had a laugh watching it. Uh, the blood is really nice. Uh, the action scenes are, of course, gorgeous. And the final act is absolutely amazing. Uh, I will say there's some criticism of the movie I would have um, beyond the CGI um, for that one scene. You know, I did feel like Tanjiro's sister got shortchanged in this movie quite a bit. Uh, her story definitely... Um, lost a little bit of luster. Like she had like a big moment in this ish, in this movie, and it kind of got taken away from her in the end. Uh, I felt like so that was probably a big negative of the movie for me, and it was away from my enjoyment of it. Um, there's some other story things that I think could have been better or better paced out, but overall, it's a really good movie with a really good premise and some really funny characters to enjoy seeing. So. There are models on the Demon Slayer movie, you guys. Um, look up a little bit about the Demon Slayer movie, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.